Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is March 19, 2019, and today is Tuesday morning. So looking at the major economic events that day, just one event coming out of United Kingdom average earning index number coming out at 11.30 South African time. I don't think this number is going to affect the market so much, but you do want to know that it is coming out. Now, again, tomorrow evening, 8 p.m. South African time, FOMC, rate decision out of the United States, very important number that is coming out, so just be aware of it. Now, looking at the Forex symbols, U.S. dollar getting mildly stronger before the FOMC meeting as we lead up to tomorrow's meeting. Now, that's affecting the Dow Jones as well and closing in on resistance before the FOMC. We'll take a look at that as well. And in terms of commodities, oil remains strong, gold bounces and then fizzles out a little bit, okay? So I think that that's really, you know, directionless for now. Now, lastly, looking at the stocks now we mentioned this yesterday facebook actually fizzled yesterday and continued to sell off quite sharply while apple continued to be strong and continued to be buying on the upside now this is very important because it's showing follow-through and if it's showing follow-through it could be that it will continue later today but let's see what we can expect from today's trading so we're looking here at the euro usd we're going to start out with the euro usd and you can see this is a bona fide rally right now okay 113 450 ish level is the resistance level if we break above it could be that we'll get to the 114 ish level okay so that actually could still for rate that's about 50 pips right there um, but from our lows of 1181 we've we've rallied quite nicely okay very nicely actually over you know 150 pips so you know with that said you know, if we do continue, you know, challenging these upper ranges, especially as the dollar gets weaker, we could see that continue. And looking at the GBP later today, now this is a bona fide resistance right here. Okay, right here at 133.33, serious bona fide double top right there, and we're challenging the support level right there. This may, you know, make a correction on the downside. So just be aware of that. Okay, altogether, it does not following through on the upside, so we may have a correctional move. Now, jumping into the Aussie dollar, now this was very strong yesterday, had a nice rally upwards, but then kind of fizzled. Okay, didn't have any follow through. So I'm a little bit skeptic whether or not the dollar is just going through a rotation or is it really because everybody's just anticipating tomorrow's big number. Now, jumping into the commodities, looking at oil you can see that we're still strong we're above 58 dollars a barrel above that resistance level you know so we're closing in at that 59 to 60 dollars a barrel which is momentous okay very important number to actually for us to hit now looking at gold here so we rallied yesterday from 1300 to 1307 and then sold off about two dollars i mean this is trading more on a, on a you know sideways range okay it it is in an upwards momentum, but nothing really to write home about, nothing to really say, you know, this may actually be a decent buy. I mean, right now we're actually at a decent place to actually buy, but I don't see the follow through, okay? So, uh, you know, focus your attention elsewhere for now until, you know, this is actually following through and uh, trending. Now, looking here at the Dow Jones, okay? 25,994, just close of 26,000. Nice little rally that we've had, and we're closing in on this double top of 26,170, only 180 points away from that, okay? And we're only about 700 points from our all-time high of 26,900-ish level, but, okay, as we go into this number, it may just lead us to disaster, meaning to say they may just prop this up just before the number in order to sell it later. I don't know, okay? However, Okay, at these levels, we are closing in on this resistance level. So with all said, you know, and done, you know, looking from a technical perspective, if we don't break above this 26,170, I would actually look to short this on the downside. Now, you know, I don't like to jump into a number before um, before the actual number comes out. So with that said, I'd hold tight and sit tight until the number actually comes out for us to have some sort of, you know, uh, clarity as to the direction of the market. Now, looking at that Apple stock, okay, now we bounced above this 175 last week, and we mentioned this, okay, look, it's rallying, it's continuing its rally to 187. Yesterday, we were trading at 185 and wanted to see if it took up, and it's continuously, okay, it's $10 above this 172-ish level, which is very important, okay? It's finally making its correction 
from this massive sell-off that we had back in November, October, November-ish time into December and capitulating at this 143. So next real resistance, 193, guys. Okay, that's the real next resistance that we have on this. So this may actually, you know, for eight. Now looking at Facebook, which doesn't look so nice, okay? Um, who knows what's going on in, you know, behind closed doors when it comes to Facebook, but this is one, two, three gap downs, and we look like we're at support level, possibly at this 159-ish level, okay? Very important to note because this is, you know, this is as capitulating at 172 and then finally breaking down. It doesn't look good for it, okay? Especially if it does break this 159, we could see it close into the 150 dollar range. Okay, very important. So a lot of opportunities, especially before our numbers, to just be a little bit careful because what happens is before a number, we're kind of choppy. We're not trading in big ranges. So just be aware of that. This is Fred Razak. Wanna wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.